Yo, what is up guys? Shamus is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now, Berserk fans, the causality is going to be really strong with this unboxing right here. I don't know if we can get any crazier than this. We got four boxes right here. We're going to be unboxing Guts and Zod versus Ganeshka, a 1-6 scale diorama licensed statue by Oneri Creations. And... This is gonna be crazy, YouTube. Four boxes. I love how they have the Berserk logo on the boxes. On the top, we got the Oniri Creations logo. This is gonna be exciting, guys. I can't wait. Let's get started. So here's a preview of where the statue is gonna go, and that's crazy right there. We have the mirrors in the background, so you can even see the back of the statue. And here we have box one of four. We have the assembly instructions right there. You see the nice black Velcro straps. Oneri Creations. So if we take a look at the assembly guide, I think Oneri Creations does a good job showing how the four boxes are packaged. Even with all the pieces, they're numbered so you know where everything is. And as we flip through the pages, we see how each step goes through the building process. And Oneri Creations does a good job on this. Even on their YouTube channel, they have an assembly video. So they do a good job of making sure you know what you're doing. And here's the finished version, guys. This is gonna be crazy. Let's go. What the? YouTube. This is the base right here. This thing is huge. This is my hand compared to how big this base is right here. This base was so heavy that it took me and Antonio just to put it on the display shelf. Man, that's, that's crazy. All right, so we just put the base on. We're about to attach Ganeshka right here, and he is huge. He's a little spiky too, a little like he's pricking Antonio <laughs> right there. So we're about to put him on the back of the base. YouTube, Zod is massive. You see the chest muscles, the abdominal muscles right there, just details all throughout Zod, and his hands are so big, it's just about the size of me and Antonio's hand right here. I love how they have the packaging on the one nail right there. Oh, this one came off, but it's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we also see Zod's facial scope right there, nicely packaged along with his horn at the top. So these three pieces are gonna go on top of the base right there. And once again, it took me and Antonio just to get Zod on top of the base right here. So here we're about to put on the wing and this thing is massive. It's a little bit of translucent resin, so you're able to see my hand a little bit on the other side. That is sick. Both of the wings keyed into the back of Zod, and getting both those wings in were no joke. Even though Ganeshka was on the back of the statue, he had just as much detail as the Guts and Zod. His cloud effects had a semi-translucent resin, and the paint had subtle gray, blue, and purple tones on it. Here we have the tail of Zod. Even this piece is huge. This is gonna go on the back of the statue. Kanishka was definitely the most delicate part of the statue and props to the Oneri because nothing was broken on him. So the last two pieces of Ganeshka are huge and the curly design of them, this represents what Guts and Zod are gonna go through when they're attacking him. So we're about to put on Zod and I just wanna give you guys a close up the spatial scope right there. You see the teeth, the tongue looks wet, the fur on his chin, the red eyes. Oniri just killed it on the spatial scope right here. So he's gonna key in right into the neck and he also has a magnet right there just to stabilize it more to the statue. And here we're about to attach the guts. You see him in his berserker armor. We have the bloody exclusive right here. Only 99 of these were made and you see all the detail the blood all on guts, holding his dragon slayer. This is a masterpiece. His right foot is gonna key in right on top of Zod. This might be the best part. <laughs> there you go. There it is, you two. Oof. Here we're about to put on Guts' cape and it has a little bit of a weathering effect on it. It is beautiful. We have the bottom of the helm right here. He's gonna key in right into Guts. And check out these facial sculpts, YouTube. That 
is perfect. You can see the rage in Guts' face when you look at these facial sculpts right here. You see the blood on his face. Man, these both look good. You can see the brand of sacrifice on the back of his neck. You see the spiky hair, the shading, the details in his skin. This one definitely has the museum pose look to his facial sculpt. We're gonna put this one on first. Even though this facial scope wasn't directly referenced to the manga, you still gotta love that badass calm expression in Guts' face right there. This one, he has his mouth open, the rage face, the blood has a shine to it. YouTube, it doesn't get any better than this. Look how perfect these teeth look. Like they sculpted each tooth. Yes, that is perfect. The details are just amazing. And last but not least, we're about to put on Zod's horns. You see all scratches on it, representing all the battles that he's been in. They do call Zod the God of War. And yo, that's the best looking horn I've seen on a statue. Bam. Beautiful. We are done. <laughs> all right, guys. After many hours, me and Antonio finally put the statue together now. And words can't describe how massive this piece looks. It's just so amazing seeing two badass characters, Guts and Zod, two enemies work together to take down a greater enemy in Ganeshka. And this is probably the best diorama I've ever seen. This is one of the best Berserk statues I've seen in my life. Like I said before, we have the bloody exclusive edition. You can just see the blood splatter all throughout Guts' armor on his facial sculpts. There's only 99 of these made and the details in this statue are just top notch. The facial expression on Guts just looks so badass. And like I said before, look at the blood splatter on his Berserker armor right there. See the details. I think they use a translucent or glossy texture to the blood because it just looks amazing. Love the way that he's holding his Dragon Slayer sword right there. See the details in Dragon Slayer, the blood, the scratches on the side, the wear and tear. This is a 1-6 scale license statue made by Oneri Creations. When it comes to the dimensions, he's at about 70 centimeters in height, 89 centimeters in width, 92 centimeters in depth, and you just feel how massive this thing is. And what I love about this statue is the display. Antonio got some mirrors on the back so you can see Ganeshka in the back. There's details all throughout this statue from the front, the back, the sides, and I love how his display just captures all the details. If you love the gritty, the blood, the gore aspect of Berserk, this statue right here, this is the one. The way Guts is just riding on Zod on top of him is just badass. You see how big Zod is. This is just his upper body, by the way, but you see how massive his wings are. This is pretty much a Zod statue if you look at it, but the teeth in Zod, the tongue, his mouth, this is just a perfect representation of what happened in the manga. When it comes to Zod, his wings has a translucent effect on it, so that looks pretty badass. You see some veins throughout his wings. When it comes to his claws, his tongue, his fangs, those have translucent effects also, so the details that just went to Zod are amazing, and Ganeshka in the back. That was just such a beautiful touch on his statue. When it comes to the base, seeing Zod, you see Guts, Ganeshka in the back. Each of these three characters tells a story in itself. So there's many different ways that you can appreciate this statue right here. And under the sub base, I love the spiky ends to it, like a steel look. The whole sub base has a medieval sort of look to it. I just think Oniri did a great job on this one, YouTube. The way Guts is posed right here with his dragon sword facing forward, like he's going through Ganeshka's cloudy effects. We see those effects behind Guts. We see his cape flowing in the back like there's wind blowing against him. There's just so much detail through every inch of the statue right here. As you guys can see from the assembly, it took me and Antonio to put this statue together. This isn't a one-man job, YouTube. I think this thing weighs about 200 pounds, so the weight on this thing is ridiculous, but if you guys had to get just one Berserk statue, this is the one right here. I don't see any flaws with this statue. I think Zod, Guts, Ganeshka looks perfect. My man Antonio has been waiting about four-ish years to get this statue, and I just wish your nigga was a little faster when it comes to shipping these statues out, but once you unbox these things and see them in person, this is a true masterpiece right here. And here we have the envelope. I assume the 
certificate of authenticity is inside here. So let's check it out. I love the red around it, the blood splatter right there. On Neary Creations, we got number 53 out of 99. We have the blood of sacrifice right there, the wording in the middle. So this feels so premium. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of Guts and Zod versus Ganeshka, an epic diorama by Oneri Creations, a one six scale licensed statue. And when it comes to Berserk statues, it doesn't get any better than this. I wanna know what you guys think about this statue. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace. All right, guys, this statue was a beast, but shout out to my man Antonio for letting me showcase this statue. Antonio, you wanna talk about your setup really quick? <laughs> After all these years of waiting, was this unboxing worth it? Uh, at times, it wasn't, but now that it's here, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't at times, but I'm really satisfied. I'm really happy with everything now. It's amazing. Oh, man. The Berserk setup just looks beautiful. I see you got the Sume at the bottom. That one's really nice. I like that one a lot, actually, man, because it really shows, you know, the style from the animated movies. A lot, they, a lot of people getting flack, but at the same time, I thought those movies were amazing. I think I just love everything Berserk, really, to be honest with you. And that's what it's all about. If we move here, we wanna talk about these pieces also? I mean, honestly, this was my first Prime one I've ever gotten. And to be honest with you, that Black Sword's been kinda of setting it off for me. I went from collecting Dragon Ball stuff to letting it all go just to have berserk but i mean i know there's a lot of other great pieces out there but really if you want to showcase you know the broad nature of berserk you, you gotta have guts really that's all that's all it's about you know guts and what he goes through and Man. i feel like i got i really feel like i got every kind of rendition of guts you know i got him when he was young you know yep. i got him golden you know, age art yep. at his most powerful you know i got him teaming up with mortal enemy mm -hmm. you know so i feel like my collection really conveys like almost the whole story of berserk that we have i'm not really into the god hands or anything like that it's it's more it's more or less about guts and yeah all that stuff and who doesn't love this North star <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is all pure artwork right here